One way that you can really customize the look of your Storyline course is by changing the color and the font on your player. This is a cool feature when you need to maybe match some corporate colors or if you just want to you know, customize the look of your player so that it complements your slide designs. So to modify the player font or the player colors, what we'll want to do is come up to the Home tab and then click the Player button. And when the Player Properties Manager appears, we need to click Colors and Effects. And this is where we can make all of our changes. So let's talk about colors first. One thing that you can do to change things really quickly is to just switch to a different color scheme, and that's what this dropdown is for. And if you've saved some of your own custom color schemes, you'll see those in the list first. I've got a handful right here. And then there are also a whole bunch of default color schemes that come built in with Storyline. So often what people will do is select one of the color schemes in this dropdown as a starting point, like let's just go with this one called Light Blue. And then if you want to make further customizations for this course, you can do that by using this Show Advanced Color Editing option. And this dropdown right here is going to give you every possible item that you can ever imagine wanting to change the color for. Like for example, this one called uh, Base Background, that's the frame that appears all the way around the perimeter of my slide. So if I wanted to change that, I would select that item. And this item actually happens to have two colors because it's a gradient. Not all items are like that, but this one is. So what we can do is use these drop downs to change the color. I'll just select red for the top, so that changes on the preview. And then for the bottom color, um, for any of these color selectors actually, you can select one of the colors that appears here, or if you want to get really specific, you can choose more colors. And this gives you some more flexibility. You can use this um, spectrum thing, you can enter some color values here, or I love this feature, you can click on this little eyedropper tool. It's a color picker which will let you select from any color that appears anywhere on your monitor. So that's really nice if you need to match something super specific, like maybe, um, I don't know, a color in an image or something like that. For this one though, we're just going to select a standard color of orange and you can see how the preview changes to reflect our choices. You can also change the transparency of many items by modifying this value right here. So we'll just give that a value of 80 and you can see how it you know, really changes the look of the player quite a bit. The transparency, by the way, is a really nice feature for situations when you want to make the player um, either in completely invisible or partially transparent. You can do that really easily. We also have the ability to change the color of the page background. That's what this is for, and this dropdown works just like the other one. So you can select something or click more colors. And uh, once you select it, it'll apply to the preview. Now, going back to this Edit Item dropdown, if you're having trouble figuring out which of these items controls the color of which items on the player, we do have a job aid for that in the eLearning Heroes site. It looks like this right here. And um, we'll provide the link to this in the written portion of the tutorial that goes with this screencast. Or you can always search for this in eLearning Heroes. The name of the uh, job aid is called Storyline Player Colors, so if you search on that, you should be able to find it right away. Now, as soon as you customize some colors on your player color editor here, you'll notice the word modified is going to appear right up here along with the color scheme name. And that just means that this scheme has been customized for this course. And if you click OK down here in the lower right, um, it'll save the changes within this course. But if you want the modified color scheme to be available to other courses, what you'll want to do is click on this little Save button and then give the scheme a new name and then click OK. And once you do that, that new scheme is going to be listed here in the custom area of the drop downs. And that means that anytime you work on another course and you want to switch to that same color scheme, you'll be able to select it here from the list. Now, if you make some changes and you change your mind and you want to revert back to the original colors for this scheme, you can always click this little reset button here. And that's going to turn everything back to what it was before. With the exception of the page background, you can change that uh, directly using the drop down. So that's a little bit about player colors. What about the player font? Well, you can change that too, right down here. You can see that right now my font is set to the articulate font, but if I wanted to change that to something else, I could just use this drop down and we'll just change it to something, let's change it to something really different. And then the preview redraws and we get to see what that would look like. And that font that you choose is going to be used throughout all the elements of your player. So that's just something to keep in mind. So that's a little bit about how to modify colors and font on your Articulate Storyline player. Enjoy all the flexibility you have to make your course player look however you want.